April Jones is tired of being talked about by her ex-boyfriends Amarian and Lil Fizz, and she wants to be heard. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Well, this is his, and he's a great person. You don't fucking know that person. April Jones recently took to social media to clear the air after her ex Amarian spoke with Jason Lee. During the interview, the former B2K member discussed forgiving his former groupmate Lil Fizz for dating Jones after they split up. It was not an easy task, according to him. He stated that he needed to look deep within himself to overcome the emotional turmoil it caused him. We all reap what we sow, you know what I mean, and... That was one of the toughest things I've ever had to do in my life, up to date, he described. I had to ask myself some real important questions and one of those questions was, well, what was it really about for you? Oh, not what is it about for everybody else, what is everybody thinking when you do this? It's like, no, what is this about for you? Jones, on the other hand, appears to be disappointed that she was not given the opportunity to recount her own version of events. I refuse to do it anymore. I am 36. I'm about to turn 37. During a recent Instagram Live, she said that both parties should have been present. She claims that this is the only way to give each of them a fair shot at sharing their stories. If a man or a woman does not want to be exposed, then start being good to the people that you are with, she added. Why would you think that a person that you treated like utter, utter SHT is supposed to protect you? I refuse to do it anymore. Because it hasn't been fair to me to hear my name constantly. Over and over, she continued. I haven't been able to tell my side. Jones went on to suggest that Amarian's depiction of the situation hasn't been accurate, and to say that she's fed up with being painted as the villain. Amarian has revealed that he and Carriage Tran almost dated before she started dating Chris Brown. Siders may perceive Hollywood as a larger-than-life place, but if we're being honest, the dating pool is relatively small. Almost every celebrity has a mutual ex or a past hookup among their friends, but fans rarely get to hear all the juicy details about failed relationships and short-lived flings straight from the source. Thankfully, a new episode of Jason Lee's podcast has arrived to answer some questions about Amarian's love life, specifically his history with model Carriage Tran. According to Jason Lee R, he was the one who tried to set up the B2K alum with Tran. One of the yeah. girls that try to hook you up with a lot of people don't know is Karuchi. He was bringing a group of beautiful young women to the club with him at the time for a night out with Amarian and Chris Brown, and Lee noticed one of his guests was vibbing with the former singer. And That's true. I thought y'all were gonna be a thing he recalls predicting yeah that, that's true jason's guest agreed before they noted that rooch was photographed with breezy not long after and you never say anything what the host called out a marion if i was you i would come on now you got to be unbothered he yelled making it clear he doesn't let the little things in life get him down seeing as carriage and brown's union came to an end in 2015 after a few rocky years of on again off again antics we can't help but wonder if a marion could be her one that got away Meanwhile, Amarian found love with reality television star April Jones. The couple dated for several years before splitting up in 2016. They do, however, continue to co-parent their two children, Amay, 6, and Mega, 8. More recently, the R&B singer revealed his new dating strategy, admitting that there is pressure to date him and that one woman may not be able to handle it alone. Amarian was asked how he finds his perfect woman on his Club Shay Shay podcast in May, and he replied that she usually finds him. If I really thought about my lifestyle and being with me, like the pressure of being with me, and it just being one woman, I don't know if that exists, he said. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.